Hello everyone, welcome to Hi-Fi Turtle. My name is Ray. If you're like me, you love listening to music. And if you're not listening to music live, you're most likely listening to it on a pair of speakers or headphones. Now, if you're an audiophile, you wanna elevate that experience and listen to music in the most extreme ways possible. And I think that audiophiles often fight about things about what amplifier is the best, what speaker is the best, what this is the best, but oftentimes the fundamentals are ignored. So in this video, we're going to be exploring why most speakers use cone drivers to produce sound. So why use cones? Why not use a square driver or a circular driver, just a circular flat driver? Some companies have asked that question and produced products that don't have the traditional cone driver. Sony famously produced speakers that had square drivers long ago. So I've designed an experiment that will show you different speaker shapes and why probably using a cone is not only the easiest, but a better idea than those other shapes. As Sony found out with the poor, very poor reviews and legacy that their square driver speakers do have to this day. So let me show you the sample of the traditional cone shaped driver. So this is just a piece of paper. Most drivers are paper. There are exotic materials out there like I mentioned earlier, but most drivers that are made are paper based drivers. So this is just a piece of computer paper that I cut and made into a cone shape and I just hot glued it to a good old toilet paper roll. And the way that a speaker works is that there is a voice coil. The toilet paper roll here is simulating the voice coil and there's a motor. Now there's no motor because I don't want to build a magnet structure and plug this into something electrical. So to simulate the motor is just going to be my hand. And what a motor does to a speaker is basically just move it up and down. It just moves the driver up and down. It reproduces the frequencies. The frequencies, the air from the driver is moved at that frequency and that's what ends up going to your ears as music or whatever you're listening to. So I'm gonna show you a few different shapes of the same methodology, just move my hand up and down as the motor, different shapes, and we'll see the results shortly. So now we've seen a few different driver shapes and well, the cone is superior, who would have thought? So what's wrong with the other designs? Well, the cone gives the structure rigidity. Two things that you want in a driver is low weight and rigidity, low weight so it can move fast. The lack of the structure being rigid is the reason why driver shapes like the square flop around in when, be, when being moved. There's nothing in this design that introduces rigidness beyond just the property of the paper itself. If you don't have rigidness, those distortions and that extra noise that comes from the driver ends up in your music or whatever you're listening to. So you don't want that. Then for the cone, when it's moving, the structure has a resistance to force. It has rigidity to it. So even when moving it, and if, if this was a real speaker cone and moving at very fast velocities because it's producing frequencies in the hundreds and even thousands range, it won't flex, it won't bend, it won't distort terribly like the unrigid just square or circular designs. Which brings us to the next point, this is made of paper. Paper's really lightweight. There are speaker drivers that are made out of aluminum, carbon fiber, and other exotic materials that are a lot heavier, have much more rigidity than a piece of paper. So if this was a pure plate of carbon fiber and I was doing this, it wouldn't flop around like that. But Paper's really lightweight, it's easy to use. And there's a lot of other reasons why people choose paper or choose an exotic material to build their speakers. I won't get too far into that, but you still see the cone design, even with carbon fiber or other exotic materials that have those extremely high rigidities where if it was just a plain circle, it would still work. Well, the other advantage of the cone is that you can fit more service area into a smaller area overall and there's a directionality, and I won't get too far into that either, but there's still a reason why even at the higher levels of exotic materials where you get into carbon fiber or Kevlar, 
you still see the cone drivers. That's gonna do it for me. I hope you liked this video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. There's also links in the description for other ways to help support the channel. Leave a comment below about what you thought about this video and I'll see you in the next one.